so let's jump to our top five this week. Ooh, this I'm week. excited. First week of December. In the Christmas spirit, this whole month we're going to be doing Christmas themed top fives. And the first one we're going to do is the top five Christmas movies. And I believe I have the first pick. Uh, you do, sir. So this is a tough one. There's a lot of good Christmas movies. Every list I saw and the movies on those lists that I've actually watched, there wasn't a bad one. No, I, I, as much as I most didn't Christmas think, movies are good. I was gonna say as much as I didn't think I liked all these Christmas movies. When I was making my list, it was easy to fill up the list. It was very easy. Then it was, it was easy hard to picking I was the about top. To say. The, I, like normally, it's it's easy to pick your top five. It's like oh, these are my easy top five, and then these are like kind of leftovers. If you take one of my top five, then I'll have this to kind of fill it in. This one was easy to fill up the list, hard to, to narrow it down. Right, yeah. So I'm excited. It's a good one. So the first pick is especially hard, but I think the first pick in the draft, 1-1. One, one. I got to go Elf. Elf. Will Elf, Ferrell. Will Ferrell. Zoe Deschanel. Zoe Deschanel. Uh, who is the dad? Peter Dinklage is the midget. Peter Dinklage is in it. There's a lot of famous people in it. Oh. Uh, I mean, for our generation, Very people good. born in the 90s, like, it was probably, like, the first Christmas movie that came out when we were kids that has stood the test of time. It also did that thing at the beginning where... Like, we saw this movie become a Christmas classic. Yeah, we did. It, it did that thing at the beginning of it where it hit you with that, like, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer or Frosty the Snowman. Then it like, got kind of real. As real as that movie gets. Right. It's like, whoa, this is... It's fun. It's a different. It was a different, new, fresh take when it came out, and that was like right at the start of Will Ferrell's like run, where he was just making banger after banger movie. Right. Yeah. Very, very good. So Elf won one. You got your next two picks. What do you got? Uh, so my number one. It kind of you picking Elf. I think that was gonna be either my one one or my one two, knowing that I had you know two picks back to back. Um, my number one since you took. That one off the board, it made it easy for me. I'm going to go with Home Alone. Oh. Big Christmas classic. That's probably going to be my next pick. Um, You know, my eight-year-old loves it. It's one of his favorite Christmas movies. It's a whole good Christmas franchise, but obviously, in my opinion, the the original first one is, you know, a, I watch it every year. I've already seen it a couple times this, this Christmas season. It's a good movie. Uh, but Home Alone's great. The McAllisters are awesome. Check out my bathroom at the current moment. It's decorated, you know, slightly like that. Um, second pick, honestly, man, I think I'm going to go with The Grinch. Which one? So you want to be specific. For The Grinch, I think we have to be. Okay. So I'm going with one that that more shaped my childhood than the current Grinch that's out there. I'm going with the Jim Carrey Grinch. The Jim Carrey one. But so the only reason I asked that is because the, I wasn't even thinking the most current Grinch. I was thinking the a, cartoon, a cartoon Grinch. Right. Yeah. I, I enjoy the cartoon as well. And, and I enjoy the new live action one with Benedict Cumberbatch, but I, I got to go with the one I preferred most as a kid because that, you know, that's where Christmas it's not the most important, but it means the most to you. It's where you get the most Christmas spirit from. So the one that shaped my childhood, Jim Carrey's Grinch. That's a good pick. Uh, I think that's another one that was kind of our age. It was made when we were kids. And we it kind of made it for out. us. You know, made for our made childhood for us, at least. It was a great movie. So what that was your number your two? second. My number two, this is legitimately maybe like one of my, it's definitely in my top five of all time favorite movies. What? The Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, man. It was my favorite movie as a kid, and I still love this movie. Jack Skeleton mixes the Halloween with the Christmas, much like real life does. Like, you go from Halloween and kind of go to Christmas. You forget about Thanksgiving. They briefly go to Thanksgiving Town, or like pass by Thanksgiving Town in the movie, too. Really? Yeah, my kid. There's like a tell door to go that. to Thanksgiving I, Town. I couldn't, I couldn't tell you anything. Jack about Skeleton, an all time character. Tim Burton, all time director. My number two, Nightmare Before Christmas. Dang, I don't even have that on my list. I love that movie. That's a solid second pick as well. It it as you know, as much as you could think it's a Halloween movie, it, it does embody like the thought of I mean, it's, it's kind of like a it's it's a similar movie to The Grinch. 
Exactly. You know, where it's like the guy doesn't understand it, and then he learns what it's about, and he loves it. And he loves it. What's your third pick? So my third pick, this is one that's always the one where they're like, did you know this is a Christmas movie? Oh, my no. number three is going to be Die Hard. God damn the it! The first Die Hard is a great movie, a great act. It's a classic action film. It's Christmas. Bruce Willis at his finest. Listen, as I much mean, as I'm the best, happy... It's one of the best franchises, uh, like action franchises in American cinema history. So I don't have many, uh, I don't have many movies like physical copies of movies anymore. I think in 2023, that's a dying uh, thing. But there are three movie franchise, I'm sorry, four movie franchise where I have every hard copy. Die Hard is one of them. Since I was a kid, Die Hard has been one of my favorite movies. I, it, was on, it was my next pick in this draft. Die Hard is a great Christmas movie. I was trying to kind of save it because I didn't know if you liked the movie and oh, I, I love Die Hard. I wasted John McClane. John McClane, yippee ki yay, motherfucker! Right, I wasted it. I won a competition in a work thing because of uh, Die Hard as my Christmas thing one time. So, well, you got the next two picks. So, what you get? <sighs> I think for my next pick, I'm going to go with National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I had that on my list. I mean, that's a classic Christmas movie. Right, I think it's a very classic Christmas movie from an early age. Even when a kid doesn't understand the you know, all of the humor. There's humor for every generation. It's one of those movies, you love it as a kid, you watch it again when you're a teenager, you understand more, you watch right. it again as an adult, then you get the whole movie. Right. As you get older, the wiser you get, you learn, you kind of learn more about the movie as you grow up. It's it's great. It's one of those movies where it's multi-generational. It's, you know, it's, it's a Christmas classic. And I think that leaves me with my second to last pick, which would be my fourth pick, right? Correct. Oh, man. I think I got to go with A Christmas Story. I had that. That was going to be my next one. You know, you can't argue with a movie that on one channel every year, they just play it for 24 hours. Dude, they play it for longer than 24 hours, I'm pretty sure. I think they play it it's once, like the whole once or twice weekend. a day, every day through Christmas. But then you get it like a little, like 24 or 36 on hours Christmas straight day, on yeah, Christmas it's like Day. They just keep playing it. Which, look, I respect, and they've even made like some shitty sequel since then, or maybe it's not a shitty sequel. I'm just not, it's not for me. I think the Christmas Story, you know, it's one of those Christmas classics where even if you're not a big fan of Christmas, you're not mad when that movie comes on. You got to sit through it once a year. So that was your number four, right. correct? So I got my four and five next. My number four, I'm going to go with a classic. I'm going to go with A Christmas Carol, Scrooge. Everybody knows the story of Scrooge. You might not know he's from this movie, but it's this movie where they bring him. He's a he's a Scrooge. You're talking about like the live action? Correct. Okay. And they bring him through. He's, Nobody we know the name of is in the cast. He's the Christmas Scrooge. He hates Christmas. He's a bad guy. Then he's brought to understand the true meaning of Christmas, which I'm beginning to understand is the plot, more or less, for every one of these Christmas movies, the traditional Christmas movies. Yeah, pretty much. And I think A Christmas Carol was the first one to use this plot, so I think that's why it's such a great uh, pick. That's why it's my number four pick. Now, does that mean Muppet Christmas Carol's off the list? It is not. <laughs> Neither is Scrooged. That's on my list. I just don't know if it's going to be my last pick. So that was my number four, Christmas Carol. And then my number five, I got a few ways to go, but I'm going to go. But how are you going to go? I'm going to go like off the beaten path. I don't think you will. I am. I'm going to go Batman Returns. Mm. Michael Keaton's second movie as Batman. Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman. Danny DeVito as the Penguin. Set at Christmas. Another Tim Burton film. I was going to say it's your second Tim Burton movie on the list. That's a it's rare a great that you movie. have a kind of a double dip, if you will. It's a great movie, great plot. It's iconic. Michael Keaton, I am Batman. Yeah, no, it was it was kind of the first crazy Batman we got. You know, the first like kind of unhinged Batman, like willing to do anything Batman, and and it was great. Yeah, so that's my top five. What's your number five pick? My number five pick. I think I got to go with another. Man, I'm kind of torn here. I don't know if I want to go animated or live action. But I think I got to go with another Christmas classic, at least classic for my generation, classic for our generation. 
I got to go with the Santa Claus with Tim Allen. I had that on my list. That was one I was debating picking. I mean, that's a they, they've gone to make several movies since. I think there's even a TV series now. It, it's it embodies the kind of the adulthood of that. I don't like Christmas anymore, but I got to get back into it because I got kids. I mean, it's the exact plot we just have mentioned a lot. Yeah, it, it's the best. Grows to love Christmas. You have to grow to love Christmas, and and I'm already, you know, I've kind of gone through the whole hate Christmas thing already. So I appreciate these types of movies even more now. I love Christmas again. I'm back in it, full swing. Santa Claus, full Christmas spirit. Let's go. So my top five to recap. Number one, Elf. Number two, Nightmare Before Christmas. Number three, Die Hard. Number four, A Christmas Carol. And number five, Batman Returns. That's a good list, dude. Uh, that's that's not a miss on that list. But there is going to be requirements for the month of December. You are now required to watch all five of those movies. I'll Fair? take that challenge. All right. And for myself, I have Home Alone, Jim Carrey's Grinch, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, A Christmas Story, and The Santa Claus. 